Hello everyone, my name is Daisy Morones and I will be doing my social media platform presentation on Instagram. Let's first start by talking about the company background and status. Instagram was founded in 2010 and within one week there was 50,000 users that were signing up to create an account. When talking about the age group of Instagram, it is precisely 67% of 18 to 24 year olds that use the app along with 60% of 25 to 34 year olds. 49% of 35 to 44 year olds, 43% of 45 to 54 year olds, 31% of those who are 55 and older. There is also data of which ethnicities use Instagram. 51% of those are Hispanics, while 40% are black folks and 33% are white folks. There is also additional information of where one lives. 46% live in urban areas, 35% live in suburban areas, and 21% live in rural areas. Now let's go on to talk about how Instagram is used. Instagram is used to share pictures and videos that allow other people to see what they're doing, what they find funny, what's special to them, where they're at, and many more things. People also use it to communicate with people who live in different areas and are typically far from each other. There's also a feature where one could post a story of and explain what they're doing throughout the day, but it disappears after 24 hours. Instagram will be classified as the entertainment zone because it is mostly used for enjoyment and entertainment purposes. Moving on to the monetization strategy of Instagram, there are a few ways that they make money. One way is through the cost per click and cost per mile. For every cost per click for Instagram feed ads is 60 cents, and for cost per click for Instagram stories are 50 cents. The cost per mile for Instagram feed ads are $1.65 and the cost per mile for stories are $0.90. Cents. Other ways are through shopping ads and checkout fees. Instagram has created a feature where people are allowed to shop online through the app. And when, if they do find a product they want, they can buy it off of Instagram, but they do have checkout fees. There's also tagged products that they can click on and it will either let them buy it on Instagram or a different website. Now for the seller, the seller has to pay a fee to be able to sell their product on Instagram. These are a few ways that Instagram is able to make money. The monetization strategy doesn't have an effect on user experience, but it is a positive one. It allows businesses to interact with their consumers and make them feel important by trying to show products or services that will be tailored to their needs. And people also love to turn to Instagram to shop and discover new products because of the effortless way that they are able to discover and purchase these products. People not only see it as a way for entertainment and enjoyment, but also to shop. Now let's talk about the marketing benefits and value that Instagram has. These benefits are through Instagram's features such as video content, Instagram stories, lives, and stickers and quizzes. Through video content, Marketers are able to share video posts that can be used to engage with audiences and share better content that can't always be shown through pictures. It is a way where a marketer can properly engage, educate, and build trust with consumers and show them what they're really all about. With Instagram stories, marketers are able to show new products or releases or even use it to their advantage to show promotions, employees, workplace culture, team outings, and give consumers an understanding of how their business works. By doing so, it allows consumers to make sure that they are staying with them and not trying to leave. Instagram Live is where one can broadcast live and it is not saved afterwards. Therefore, one can offer promotions, discounts, giveaways, generate leads, and engage with consumers. However, a marketer must make sure that people know ahead of time that a live will be broadcasted to take advantage of this feature. Now, the final feature is stickers and quizzes. This is a way to engage consumers through questions, polls, hashtags, and much more. It is a way to reach thousands of users and show that a business is willing to take the time to just do things like this. It is also a way for businesses to be able to find out which product will sell more because people get to vote on which one they think is better, which one they think is worse, what's wrong with it, what's good with it, and things like that. And make sure that a brand message and campaign is clear and as well as good feedback on new products that are trying to be sold. Not only that, but if a location wants to be found, they could use hashtags where you can easily put the location and people know where the store is at or where they could find the product or service. With benefits also comes risks. So let's talk about some risks marketers can come in contact with. Instagram is a place that's known for one to relax and have some laughs, not to watch videos that are long, educational, and boring. Therefore, marketers must do the 
research and have knowledge on the content that is demanded, especially on different locations, because it will not be the same in every area. Another risk is that not every business will be able to utilize Instagram. It depends on how well one can use pictures and videos to get their message across. Because this app is used to post pictures and videos, it is really important that a marketer knows if that can be all fitted into these two specific areas. Another risk is that a lot of people like to use celebrities and influencers to promote their products and services. However, you have to do the research to make sure that these influencers and celebrities aren't going to harm your product and services or even turn away any consumers. It is always better to do your research to fit in the proper celebrities and influencers and even to figure out if Instagram is the right tool for you. With this information, now let's talk about successful and unsuccessful campaigns. The Airbnb experience campaign was a success because it utilized photos to advertise its beautiful locations and the beautiful views that came with it. It allows consumers to see what they could have if they simply book a room with them. Not only that, but it ensures that consumers are able to travel, have an adventure, experience nature and beauty. They also encourage people to post pictures and share their experience and ensure that they will be satisfied. The Melbourne campaign was unsuccessful because it is a controversial event. Controversial topics do not do well with campaigns because of the backlash that is received. The Melbourne Cup campaign tried to come up with a hashtag that allowed people to be engaged by stating what horse they thought was going to win. Instead, people stated the animal abuse that occurs because of these races. When it comes to controversial topics, it is better to steer away from campaigns because it will only do more harm than good. In conclusion, Instagram is a great app for marketers if it is utilized correctly. Instagram has features that allow one to gain new consumers, engage with current consumers, create brand loyalty, as well as brand awareness. It is important to remember that if marketers do not feel that pictures and videos can capture the vision, purpose, and goals of a business, it is better to not use Instagram. It is important to steer away from mistakes such as controversial campaigns and offensive content that will steer consumers away. This can be avoided as long as marketers do the proper research to ensure the safety of the business. A marketer must also understand how photos and videos can be used to their advantage. To be successful, marketers must understand and learn how a business can utilize and benefit from Instagram. Thank you for taking the time to listen and watch this presentation.